I don't want to distract you. Good thought. I'll wait till you're like thinking hard and then I'll go. <laughs> That's it. I'm always thinking hard because I'm not that smart. No, here we go. <laughs> Well, it's, it's interesting to me because your, your career is fascinating in that you've made these these two feature films recently, but you got a sort of a late start as a director Yeah. because you started as a producer and you made some some of my favorite movies, actually. You produced uh, Microcosmos and, and uh, Himalaya, which I think is mm. kind of stuff. Mm. But you didn't get around to directing until you were nearly 40, right? Yes, exactly. No, it's just because... Um, um, a little bit by coincidence, I began to uh, work with my uncle, Jacques Perrin, who is a very famous producer. And that's the first step of my career. I was really uh, with him, associated with him to produce this movie. But uh, I, I had the feeling, the strong feeling, that my place would be on the stage. Because when uh, I was producing movie, and when I saw that things were not going very well on the stage, uh, I, I really felt I wanted the power, you know, to be there, to direct. I mean, it seems like you're a little bit like the lead character in Paris 36 and that he's behind the scenes for a long time and then he's finally up on stage. Do you feel that way? Yeah, interesting, yes. Yes, I was, uh, I was a bit suffering when I was backstage, you know, because I had the feeling I was not uh, maybe uh, some financier, but more an artist. Yeah. And so I... I thought it was there. I, I, I had a very strong feeling my place, wo my place was on the stage. And, uh, well, now I feel uh, very happy, uh, like a director. I think I, I think I find my way. And, uh, well, people like the movie I do, so... You have a couple Oscar nominations for that. You've done very well critically. I, I, I think you've proven yourself. In this town, the theater brought the people to life. Vous allez voir, c'est formidable. Allez, rentrez. Until one day, le chansonnier est à moi. Fate brought the curtain down. Now, with the country torn apart, fascist. And a people struggling to hold on. Et plus capable d'élever cet enfant, c'est évident. They will have to find the voice that could bring it all back. Suivant, c'est la jeune fille envoyée par Monsieur Galapia. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous montrer vos jambes, s'il vous plaît? Oh, quand même. On vous engage. Un regard noir, on a le cœur comme au départ Mais attention, qui sait qui sait L'amour c'est de la ficelle mouillée Bien sûr, bien sûr, on vous invite Sur le grand 8 pour le grand tour Mais il y a tellement de mauvais types Que d'en haut, comment crier au secours Attachez-moi au cochon, au cheveux de bois ah, Attachez-moi à la baba, papa They're challenging productions. Yes. Uh, and, and this seems like a challenging production as well. What, what is tougher, waiting for snails to have sex <laughs> or, or working with uh, sets and well, mm, you know, uh, for for me, you know, I understand a bit better the human being than the snails, yeah. <laughs> for my part, yes. <laughs> but for example, in the chorus, when I was directing movie, uh, when you are directing kids, it can look like directing animals. You know, sometimes you have to <laughs> to to be aware of that. Uh, but for my nature, no, because you know, I'm a little bit too uh, impatient. My my energy is uh, very strong every day and so for example you know i remember that production shooting of microcosmos has been a, a three years process a wing migration four years process and for me sometimes it'll be too long you know i'm not that kind of patient man so i have to shoot more quicker than that how, how quickly did you shoot this how yeah how quickly 
Oh yeah, it was um, well four months. Four months. Which is a little bit long, yes, but uh, we had two. It was uh, seven, uh, no, six days a week, and but it was uh, what I had to have for to shoot the movie because there are a lot of musical numbers, a lot of uh, uh, difficult scene with a lot of extras, uh, some stunts, some shots who are very were very tough to realize. For example, the first opening shot, who is a uh, Two, two minutes and 50 seconds, one shot without cut, and very complicated. And all the technical challenge ask for time, of course. But when you can do it, it's a real pleasure because it's something that the audience, I think, uh, doesn't see uh, in every movie.